everybody, welcome to round one. We've won the die roll, so we're certainly going to play first, and uh, let's see what we get. <laughs> we get an awful lot of big things and no ramp. There's a Vengevine. Yeah, it's not really what my deck wants to do, but I'll keep it. I'm not going to risk the luck. Our opponent is mulled to six, so that'll help us a little bit at least. Let's see what they're playing. Red, A, eh? And no one drop. That's what I like to see. <laughs> Rampant growth. Okay, sure, I need more forests. Thins my deck at least, so I guess that's good. It means Vengevine's coming down on turn three. Okay, now he's got a one-drop. Goblin Guide. Alright, what do I have on top? I have Natural Order. Okay, cool. Totally fine with that. Because that means we can Woodfall Primus. <laughs> uh... So let's uh, swing in with this Vengevine. Take him to 16. My hope is he doesn't just lightning strike the Vengevine or something like that, because that would be kind of gross. What do I have on top? Genesis wave. Well, he must know I'm green ramp by now. Is he gonna miss his second land drop? That would be good for me, Woodfall Primacing. That would be quite good for me. Thinking through something though. Misses the second land drop. Awesome. Well, I think we're gonna Woodfall Primus him and put him down to one land. Actually, hold up. Hold up. I should attack first. That would be the smart move, wouldn't it? Now it's natural order. Sack Vengevine. Oh, right, you get to search your library. I totally forgot about that. That was a dumb move on my part now, wasn't it? That was a bit of a dumb move. Um, bit of a dumb move. Why was I thinking it was from hand? I was thinking of Eureka. Um, so I guess Rampaging Baloth. Or I could Hornet Queen, couldn't I? If I put down Hornet Queen, I'd have, uh, uh, what, five, I'd be able to seven drop with Cord? Hmm. Yeah, let's go with Hornet Queen. Well, that was a definite mistake on my part, but I think I'm still in a pretty good position. He is going to swing in. And I have a scavenging ooze on top. Well, let's kill off a goblin guide. Arc Trail. Good 
Horde for two, I suppose. And not worth it. Not worth it. Let's get in for two. Let's drop a scavenging ooze. So I've got a goblin guide I can pluck out. I've got a vengevine I could pluck out, but I don't necessarily want to. And a hornet queen I can take out. his third land drop finally flame wake phoenix eh sure no concern of mine I will take the two and let's get my ooze out of burn range right now let's take the guide let's take the hornet queen and we'll leave the vengevine in there Yavamaya. Let's go four and one and leave one back for the Phoenix. And let's drop down Yavamaya. I assume we have this locked. He's pretty far behind. It'd be nice if Genesis Wave had Convoke. Well, he's hitting his lands now. Chain Lightning. He's going to deal three to Scavenging O's. Sure. Show me what the other trick is. You're going to Brimstone Volley it as well. Well, I can't save it from that, now can I? But that's fine. If he wants to spend two cards on that, be my guest. Um, oh, I see. He wanted the Phoenix to get through. Well, it's going to get through anyways. And I will just swing in for four. Take him to one and... Potentially just finish this all off. Drop an obstinate Baloth. And uh, require him to do something pretty fancy. Yeah, that's what I thought. So he's playing the red burn deck that got the nerf. Um, I assume he probably wanted to hit me in the face with a lot of those burn spells, but couldn't. So maybe that's actually a reason for Primal Command to come in. And I'm actually going to take it in for that, surprise, surprise, 7 life gain. Um, and I'll pitch the Overrun or the Summoning Trap. The Overrun, I think. And we'll jump back in. And we'll see how Game 2 goes. Alright, my opponent has kept his 7. And we've got another really slow starting hand again a four drop a better five drop but that's just uh, it's too many lands for me I'm gonna mull that two lands a eh? and nothing I can play off of them I'll keep it it's super risky but I'll keep it I may just get blown out but we'll see Oracle. Well, if I can get to four, I'm in good shape. Goblin Bombardment. Sure. I guess. Well, there's another forest. One more land and we'll hit four. Or I guess actually... No, Guy's Cradle does nothing if I have a blank board. Grafted War Gear, okay. It's a strange deck. Well, there's our third forest. Let's pass the turn again. 
Need to do that one more time. But he's playing pretty slow too, so fine with that. Beetleback Chief. So he's going to get a 2-2 two -two along with two 1-1s. One -ones. He can sack them to do stuff, and he can graft some war gear on them. Which I guess is pretty good. I guess. Hey, hey, we got it. Let's go Oracle of Moldaya. Top of my library is a Genesis Wave. Let's throw down Gaia's Cradle and pass the turn. So I've got five mana available to me next turn, so I could drop Pelucranos, uh, which would be pretty nice. If he lived, I could Monstrosity and maybe wipe his board. Flame Tongue Kavu, Oracle of Moldaya is going to bite it. So I'm back to four mana, so Pelucranos is still to play next turn. Potentially going to be in a bit of trouble, actually, if I don't hit that Hornet Queen. Going to get hit for four, five, six, seven here. All right, I guess this deck's doing what it needs to do, and mine sure did not. So I'm going to draw that Genesis Wave. I'm going to play this Pelucranos and pass the turn. Let me just, yeah, just in with everything. It makes sense. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Leaves me at 4. So he could sack goblins to finish off Pelucranos. I can Pelucranos for 2, which would kill almost his entire team. So I'm going to block there and go to four and hopefully not just lose. Hopefully not just lose. He's gonna ping me for one. Takes me to three, takes me to two, takes me to one. Is that a goblin? It's a Kavu. Oh, it's just Sacrifice Creature. Okay, I'm dead. I thought Goblin Bombardment required goblins, but it does not. So I guess that's a deck. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess that's a deck. Rafflos would have been nice. Um, we had a really slow start, unfortunately. I probably should not have kept that to, uh, to Lander. Um, maybe Tarmogoyf is a card. Just get some lower stuff, get rid of the Summoning Trap. And I guess jump back in. I could have Phyrexian Revokered the Goblin Bombardment, but that requires me drawing the Revoker and it not dying to his multitude of burn, so I don't think it probably was worth siding it in. Ideally, the Tarmogoyf just blocks early if I get it, uh, and it'll get bigger with his instants and sorceries and such. All right, we're back in for game three. I would like to play first, and I'd like a better hand than what we've had, and that's not it at all. That's unplayable, so mulligan. That's unplayable, so mulligan. Now, I think we're going down in the first round here. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever, I'll keep it. Well, he mulled the six, too, but we're not going to get anywhere. I mean, this was an awful keep as well, but I saw three lands and I figured whatever. Three lands is better than, what did we have? Two lands and then no lands? Spike shot Elder. That could be a problem. I uh, will take the one. This is why this deck definitely needs the, uh, the one drop mana elves. Krenko's command, sure thing. He is full on goblins, eh? Well, rampant growth will help out a little bit. That'll let us derange hermit next turn, at least. Oh, damn you, Magic Online! Damn it! It lagged out on that okay, and I ended up skipping the uh, the library search. 
Frigging lag. Alright, whatever. Take the three. That really sucked. That really sucked. He's hitting his land drop, so I'm just going to get run over. Reckoner, sure. So we should have had a Hermit this turn. We're going to have a Hermit next turn instead. If I live. I'm going to go to 10 here. Uh, that really sucked. Well, he had no three drop at least. So let's make a hermit. Get some two two squirrels. He will ping the hermit, and those squirrels will go back to being ones. I'm going to have to pay for that Hermit next turn as well if he doesn't ping it. Um, he's going to ping me. Okay. Be a jerk like that. Does he just have the win in hand or something? Winter Orb. Yeah, that screws me entirely. Screws me entirely, unless, I'm, uh, unless I hit Gaia's Cradle off the top. Chain Lightning me. Okay. Take me to six. He's going to come in with nothing. Okay. I will untap a land. I cannot pay the Echo, so goodbye Deranged Termit. My squirrels are 1-1s. One I've got a primal command I can't cast. If he comes in with the Reckoner, I have to take it. Otherwise, triple block. I would take 3, 4, 5, 6. I could block one of it. Bad times all around. Yeah, that's what he's doing. So, I mean... Can he just give it... He can just give it first strike. So I'll just take the three here. Yeah, the misclick sucked, but the winter orb is significantly worse. Plus just the bad hands that we got. <laughs> Rofalos. Um, do, do you help Rofalos? You can get me six mana, seven mana. That is primal command. Oh, but I can't on top. Um, well, we'll see if we can live the turn, but I don't think I can. Because he can ping me, block and ping. So I'll block, he can ping me for one, unless he just pings Rofalos. No, it pings me for one. He's got four cards in hand, three mana. He must just have a way to kill me right now, right? Yep, there it is. Good game. Yay, that was fun. Well, that sucked an awful lot. Um, Winter Orb kind of hurts the ramp deck pretty heavily. So, unfortunate first round. Not terribly happy with that. Not terribly happy with myself and Magic Online for uh, missing that rampant growth, but oh well. Luckily this is Swiss, so we've got two more rounds to play through. So I'll see you for round two, where hopefully uh, things go a little bit better than this disgusting little goblin deck.